Welcome to the Mischief. I'm Valen, and this is Automaton. Today I'll be thanking Nerevar for his support and patronage. Always appreciated. So as you can see, I have kind of made this effective, or rather effective at least in my opinion, uh, mining shaft to get down here. I've set up a little bit of a, a base to branch out from. Uh, it ran into a tunnel. I'm down on Y level 11 right now. Uh, and you can see on the mini-map that I kind of have like a couple of branch mines running off. The the wub hammer is amazing. These wub tools are very strong. And you, you probably notice I'm also wearing redstone armor. These are actually made just from redstone. You just take six of them. It, it's part of, I, I think it's yeah, Tiny Progressions, which is a very, very overpowered uh, mod. But um, it, it grants you speed. So therefore, I can get around a little bit faster. It only gets me about half uh, an armor meter, but I figure, you know what? I, I think I will be much better off just being able to move around. But you can see the ore generation in this. I mean, look, there's diamonds, redstone, gold, everything is just everywhere. It's really amped up. Just digging this 3x3 three three with the web hammer, as you can see here, it's very quick and easy to work with. And I can pick up all sorts of loot in this area, and I have so much. I mean, I'm, I'm going to show you guys how much I did. As you notice, uh, also on the minimap, a lot of this caving system is pretty much lit up, going up and down and winding around. I went through all that, then I came back here and decided I would start doing a bit of uh, mining just in a straight line. And I wanted to show you guys some of the ore generation that's there. So let's, let's open this chest. I've got two chests. One, Monday materials. There's a bunch of cobblestone in there. The other is a lot of loot. Uh, I, I did fight some zombies and stuff. I was wearing some iron armor. I found some steel leggings that barely has any durability left on it. But as you can see, there's a lot. I mean, look at these are all blocks of redstone. I've got a lot of clay. I've got almost a stack of diamonds. This is really ridiculous with the amount of stuff that is in here. I did get one bone because I ended up killing a skeleton as well. So that's pretty darn cool. Um, I was thinking I might try heading up. But I did get an achievement while I was down here. And strangely enough, it's making a furnace. <laughs> Just make a furnace, which I already had made one. But I think because I hadn't completed the previous steps, it didn't do anything for it. So there, I now have even more coal to put in here. <laughs> so I need to see if there's any kind of item that I might be able to use in order to um, uh, better, I don't know, uh, just kind of teleport or transport chests and stuff like that. So I'm going to take a look in the inventory system, see what I can come up with. Well, there's the good old fashioned cardboard box for mechanism. Though I don't have the means to make that yet, I might actually have some sawdust upstairs that I can make that with. Uh, but I figure since I'm heading up there, I might as well at least grab all the ores that I have here. Uh, might as well grab the redstone, diamonds, that. That's pretty good. And I some I found one piece of nether quartz. I don't know how or where or what even, but I, I found it nonetheless. Let's also grab some more lapis. Um, I'm running out of space here. We're going to put this back. We'll also grab the ender dust, which uh, when I found some of the ender ores down here, it was rather interesting. Uh, one of them spawned an endermite, and I just uh, was a little taken aback by that, but still, not too bad. As you can see, it is nighttime. Actually, I still have the overlay set on so it's oh it's very bright Let, let's aim up here that that moon is so bright uh, and yes i do have my settings currently turned on bright just for this because i know the compression on youtube makes things a little bit more difficult to see especially with shaders so i'm putting torches down much more frequently than i normally would just so that it, it keeps things lit up at the very least uh, so for now i'm gonna get a snooze on and there we go it is now morning which i'm not going to stare into the sun that is just a little too bright Things are very... Oh, wait. Do I have two different kinds? Of, oh, trapped chest and regular chests. Okay. Um, so I've got so much stuff up here, and I'm going to have to... Oh, wow. This is just not going to... This is not going to be able to be sorted in this manner. Let's grab some of these chests that I had over here. I'm going to do a quick sort out of this stuff and see if I can get things uh, a little bit better equipped. All right. So I currently have... Mob drops chest. I've got a food crate. I've got a wood crate. I've got kind of like a machine parts, books, instruction, just kind of like a miscellaneous stuff. 
I've got processed minerals, I've got unprocessed minerals, then I've got just your mundane stuff, and my valuables, which I just realized I still have some gold on me. There we go. And that was just the first one. Now, feasibly, I could probably bring up a wooden storage crate, uh, or take one down or whatever, and do that. Um, and in my wanderings, I don't have any sawdust. I thought that I might have been able to, like, make one by, like, smashing a... a, a one of these hammers into a tree or something like that, but I don't think that's the case. So I'm just going to run downstairs, grab the last of the goods, and then we can get on with some of this questing. Now I may be taking all this stuff here, but I'm going to leave these as kind of like a backup stuff down here for mining just in case. In fact, I'm even going to leave a little bit of coal down here too for the same exact reason, just so if I wanted to I can smelt some things while I'm down there if needed. That's pretty much how I made my uh, my wub tools as it is, just by kind of smelting things up while I was mining. Uh, and now I just need to kind of distribute everything as simply as I can. There we go. I now have a considerable amount of items. And I feel that uh, I'm, I'm rather well equipped, at least with mining at this point. And yeah, the, the pups are still running around. I do have another bone, so maybe I can convince one. Hey! Best friends forever. Hey, BFF. How you doing? Let's uh, have you just follow around with me. Hey, your health is good. Tail is up. This is this is very nice. Okay, so I've got a friend. Not that these guys were actually deserting me. They were sticking around. Uh, anytime that there was a uh, skeleton nearby, there's another pup over there. I need more bones. Get like, myself a, a little army of puppers. Um, but they were pretty much keeping the area clear of any kind of skeletons because they were uh, just attacking them anytime that they, they got near. Gosh, that just looks so pretty from over here. It's it's so scenic. Gosh. Okay, sometimes these shaders really do good work. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's check out what's next on the list. Pretty sure it's to kind of get into some things now. Nosy neighbors. Pretty sure we did do that. Yep, kill zombies. I've killed a bunch just by doing a bunch of mining. So I got a bunch of items there. Uh, then I haven't improved my chests. That's not a bad idea. At this point, your chests are probably getting pretty crowded. Luckily, there is a solution. Iron chests and gold and diamond and more. The iron chest is a double chest size in a single block size. Further upgrades can add more storage, blast resistance, or the ability to see your items without opening the chest. Oh, oh, free upgrades. So I need to make an iron chest first, though. Oh, wait, that's a, a choice reward. Iron to gold, wood to iron, copper chest. Or a bookshelf? Huh, from Inspirations. Okay, that's that's actually pretty interesting. Um, I, might, I might actually take the bookshelf. Uh, so then we've got Better Furnace and Farmer Steve or Alex. Let's go with the Better Furnace, because then if we can get things uh, working... Oh, this is nice. The Furnace is an upgraded furnace that can be further upgraded with modules that can increase the speed, fuel efficiency, and XP gain, as well as modules that allow you to reconfigure the input and output sides and process up to three items at once. That sounds beautiful. Speed upgrade efficiency, IO upgrade, which enables automation. I think I'm going to want that one. The speed and efficiency would be nice, but um, I think I'll, I'll go for the IO first. So we need to make a furnace. Oh, no, I got the nosy neighbors complete as well. I might as well check uh, take a look at the this real quick. Well, got a bunch more food, so that's encouraging. Might as well put that in here for now. Uh, so let's see, I need a furnace right here from the furnace mod. Simple enough. Bunch of bricks, uh, iron ingots, furnace itself, and some coal. You know what? I have several furnaces, so I think I'm going to start with that and go from there. So while I'm waiting for those to smelt up, uh, as much as these were nice when I didn't have anything, now that I've got a bunch of really good stuff, I think I'm going to use this. A little click to delete option. Boop, there we go. It is now complete. <laughs> oh, and I'm smelting up a bunch of the bricks at the moment. So let's just put this away. I'm keeping a bunch of coal because I'm going to need it for the furnaces themselves. I can, I should be able to make at least three brick sets there. There we go. Just waiting for the last couple uh, to smelt up. There we go. I should have everything I need to make a furnace. All right. Quest complete. Now, if I place this down, let's take a look at this thing. That says pickaxe, so I can obviously mine it with 
wub acts if I want. It's got an input recipe. It works just like regular furnace would, I guess. Um, speed one times, fuel consumption one times, XP one times. And it's got two slots for fuel. Oh, it does. That's pretty good. And then if I wanted to put this in, let's see if it actually runs any faster. Actually, I think it does run faster than a regular furnace, but uh, not by much. That's all right because it has upgrades. So choice reward. I'm going to choose the IO because that I think is going to be most useful right now, though I think the uh, furnace options here I could probably make. Speed upgrade. Yeah. Yes. Efficiency upgrade. Oh, that requires glowstone. Okay. So I won't be able to do that. Decreases fuel consumption. IO upgrade. Yeah, I'm glad I made that. I don't like the microcrafting there. Slot upgrade. Add one, adds one additional input slot. Huh. XP upgrade. Oh, well, I don't have any slime for that. Eco upgrade. Saves heat and progress. Oh, that's pretty nifty. I think I could do a speed upgrade. And uh, let's see, a slot upgrade as well. Interesting. Okay. Well, I'm going to let that do its thing at the moment. Let's see about making uh, some upgrades. There we go. So I should be able to make one of these. Hello, puppy. How you doing? And I think I can just put this in here, this in here. And the speed upgrade is pretty good. Increases speed and consumption. And if I look, where was it that it said it before? Oh, there it is. Fuel consumption 1.5 and speed is 1.25. OK, so it does go faster at least. So that's the thing, but it does have an input and an output. Input. Enabled on the top. All right. Automatic. Oh, okay. So enable means that you can insert it through the top, but auto means that it will automatically pull from the top. So if I put a chest on there, it will output into that or a crate even. There, actually, additions is not in here. So I could just go with standard chests for now, like inputs and outputs. So if I put this on top here and here, I could input here, output there. At least that's what I'm assuming. Output, I want it this side, turn that off, automatic. This for the input, automatic. And fuel, mm, oops, I didn't mean to click there. Fuel, automatic. So I could put all the fuel that I want. Oh my gosh, this is really cool. Uh, next to it, let's grab a half stack of coal for now. And I could put another chest nearby and have this thing fully automated while I'm working on other quests. Wait, where'd I put that other chest? There we go. One. Put this down here and put fuel in as it's needed. Of course, I need to automate that, so that's going to be automatic. Turn that off. There we go. So now it, yep, it's pulling in fuel as well. Nice. So that's the speed. IO. I wanted to do a slot upgrade as well. Two diamonds and an iron. That's actually really cheap right now. There we go. Oops. And two diamonds. If only because I've got a lot of diamonds. I've got a lot of diamonds. Um. So let's oops. craft it here. One of those. I could probably put multiple slots in this thing. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. And so it can smelt multiple things at the same time. That's even better. Do I want to just smelt all this stuff? Let's get... Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Let, let's continue on with the questing. Right now, this is nothing that can be or doubled. This is just me making a bunch of bricks and messing around with the furnace. So there's, there's nothing wrong there. It is really nice, though, to have some base... base organization with that. All right, so a pulvis. Ah, here we go. Do an ore doubling mechanic. Yep. Pulvis will allow you to double your ores as well as grind down other items into their dusts or cobble to gravel and gravel to sand, for example. Oh, nice. So then again, speed, efficiency, or IO upgrade. Ooh, efficiency I can't get. I should probably go for this because I can't get it. I should have done that with the last one, but I do need a pulvis. So let's see about making one of those. Okay, that's sand, oh, sandstone of some sort, iron, flint, and furnace. All right, I don't think I have any sand. Uh, oh, no, I do. All right, not a problem. All right, so now I should be able to make this pulvis. 
nice, quick and easy step up. I could feasibly put it here. Have it pull fuel from the same spot, output into there, which is the input for that one. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is pretty cool. Um, so then now to claim the quest, get the efficiency upgrade right here. Claim back. All right, and now I can put this in here. It's currently one to one. Yes, decreases fuel consumption, so we're going to do that. And then I'm going to want the uh, IO upgrade, which is a piston, iron ingot, and a hopper. All right, I don't think that those recipes are particularly expensive. You never know with mod packs these days, though. So I just want to double check. Yep, everything's basic. Let me go crap those up. All right, a piston. Then we need a hopper and one more iron ingot should do the trick. Grab one of those. And then I can make the IO upgrade. Oh, it gets me two? I didn't even realize that. I feel kind of silly now. So because I don't think that adding extras will make any difference. All right, so input um, is going to be I don't even have an input spot for this thing yet. Let's put this in here for now. I will need another chest for the input of that to put on this side so then the input will be here turn that off output will be on the side disable that and fuel will be underneath turn all the others off and that should be good now we just need to ensure that the fuel is actually separated for now though actually i'm curious so I've got 34 in here. If I put this in, I can't put it in because, <laughs> oh, that's that's a mistake. So I would need one of these crates to do that instead. Maybe I'll do that. Um, yeah, let's empty this out and I will chop this up and use this crate because it's underneath stuff and I can't open things. I can't open chests with lids. There we go. Now I should be able to put the fuel in here. It takes into both. Yep. Okay, so let's grab both of those. And I can just throw that in there, and it should distribute between them evenly. Now I just need an input for something. Let's take, let's say, oh, I don't know, a stack of gold? No. Iron? Probably iron, because I don't have as much of that as I really need. Let's take a half stack to start. Throw that in here. There we go. And then that's going to work in there. I do need a, what is the fuel efficiency? Fuel consumption 0.71. So if I get a speed upgrade, I'll go make one of those, toss this in, and maybe they'll both keep up. Who knows? All right, speed upgrade. Throw that in there. Nice. And then if I wanted to, I could actually put another IO upgrade. Oh, no, not an IO upgrade. Uh, where is it? A slot? upgrade two more diamonds and an iron ingot which then i could also put into other ones as well that's pretty darn cool so let's grab two more of those actually i'm going to do a whole bunch of those uh, the only thing i think i'm going to run out of is fuel at this point uh, i just need a little bit of iron one two three and then i should be able to make that those can stack oh my gosh okay that's pretty impressive Let's put those in there. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Okay, so I now have so many slots going on right now. Let's get a whole bunch of fuel in here. We're going to get some copper. We're going to get some gold because we've got so much of it already. Um, we're also, you know, I'm, I think I'm going to start with that. Copper, gold, and iron. So let's toss those in. And then I just need a regular chest down here uh, to put this food in. Oh wait, I've already got a chest because I replaced the old one and that should work. Now I, I've got all my food down here and maybe a few seeds too. Eh, no big deal. And there we go. It is now morning and I can start checking out the next stuff. There's so much to do in here. Farmer Steve or Alex. Mining is hungry work, so it's about time we start growing our own food supply. Oh, I don't have pumpkin seeds. I might have a melon seed or something, but I need 16 seeds, 4 carrots, and 4 potatoes. Well, I've got the seeds, which is complete. Carrots and potatoes. I don't think I have any of... Oh, no, I've got 3 carrots. So I could feasibly make that 
I still have my regular old iron hoe, but I do need a bucket. Actually, I don't think I have a bucket. Plus, I've got some aluminum ingots in there, and I've got this Paxil that I've been ignoring the entire time. I forgot about that Paxil. All right, well, put this in here, grab a few iron ingots, and then I can make myself a bucket. I might actually make two. How's this doing? Wow. It all goes in there, and then that all goes in here. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is awesome. I just need more fuel. Half in there, half in there. I'm running low. I'm going to need to get some kind of fuel source going for this thing if I'm going to be using coal power. But at least it's all working as intended. And how much do I have so far? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, and uh, those are, that's that stack of bricks I started. That is working really nicely. That's pretty nice for uh, manual stuff, you know? There's no, no power involved. It's all just, you know, the stuff that you dig up or chop down. So this is going to be a little bit, but I do need... A bucket of water, which I think I could just get down here at the bottom of the stairs. Hmm, where do I want to have a farm? Do I want to have it out here in the middle of the water? I don't know. Um, I do feel like, here we go, this is kind of a, a scary spot, actually. Let's put some torches up on either side here, one up on top. <laughs> hmm. If I do it right here, that's going to kind of interfere with things. I was thinking about having like a a little house up on there. Actually, no, I could have a little farm right here. I could have like a, a multiple tiered farm. I think that would work. Just take out a little bit of this. Get out of here, ferns. Finding grass nearby is going to be challenging in this kind of biome because they're all like ferns and then I don't get the seeds from them and such. So that's a little bit of a downer, but not too bad. Um, in fact, I might, give me that back, might fill that out with a little bit more dirt, and there we go. Start up an area for a farm right here, because uh, I figure, why not at the moment? Uh, we'll just do it there, put down the water, hello pupper, and grab that. I will till this up, get myself some crops planted, and I'll be back in a minute. You stay here, pupper. I accidentally uh, smacked the pupper trying to place down blocks because it kept on <laughs> jumping in front of me. Maybe we'll keep you with me whenever I go adventuring or something so that it, I don't end up hurting myself as much, I guess. Oh, gosh, stop it. I just wanted to place a torch. Um, there we go. That's a little better. And now I can do a little bit more of this. And I wanted to give myself enough space so that when I come down off of this, I don't trample the crops. <laughs> I always trample the crops. There we go. Turns out I forgot I did have some melons, so I might as well plant all these over here. Pick up the, uh, the corn that I planted and put those right next to it so that they don't land in the wrong spot. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Move that, and then I need something here to stop this from growing there. There we go. That'll have to do for the moment just to stop those melons from going off on weird angles. And I think I'm done with the farm at the moment. I mean, short of running around looking for uh, grass to break, I figure I might look up other ways of, like, fertilizing. Is there fertilizer? No. Uh, is there anything that the bone meal can be used with? Hmm. Not really. So maybe there are some methods I could use to uh, speed production of or of planting things down and looking for stuff but let's let's see if we can find it in here i don't have enough of those but hopefully i'll get some soon i could go back to that village you know what they might have some that's just southwest of here or southeast of here the sun is uh, i don't know it's daytime so i could probably head this way and see what i could find you know what pupper you're coming along let's do this okay Nothing like your average tree pig to make your day complete. <laughs> hey, don't harvest those. I need that stuff. Hey, gimme. What do we got here? We've got beetroots. Perfect. Um, too bad you guys harvested all that stuff. These are all... Oh, carrots. Don't mind me. I'm just going to take some of these. Am I getting... I'm getting carrot seeds? 
That's regrettable. All right, well, what about potato seeds? <laughs> beetroot seeds, might as well take a few of those. Although I got more carrot seeds in there. Well, I got some beetroot, so that's the thing. Looks like it's just beets and carrots. All right, so there, that's their root vegetables pile. We found the, the uh, corn earlier, which grows like mad. Uh, hopefully we'll find something a little bit more useful than this. Well, they do have a wheat section over here. Um, actually, give me that torch. Give me that torch back. Um, so I could always just harvest this stuff at the very least. But uh, this isn't... Oh, they've got actual ripe carrots ready for the taking. Beautiful. And most importantly, potatoes. We've got them. I got six. Quest complete. The sun is just starting to set. So I need to get back to the house. Well, actually, that's another thing that I need to work on is a house. I, I need to head back, see a bunch of mobs underground, and uh, get things going oh, soon. I don't have a shelter yet. Currently, I'm just happy to have a bed. There we go. Home sweet stairway. Just what I was looking for. Okay, now that I've got some food, I've got a snooze, and I've got my quest book. We can complete this. At least I would hope so. Choice reward. Well, I've got melons, so I'm going to go for pumpkins. And I think I also got a hoe. <laughs> so I've got another hoe on top of that one. Ooh, faster farming. Oh, just making one. I'm going to get a choice of that and a growth crystal. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Um, so let's see. It is a watering can. Simple one, just a bucket of water. Bone meal. Hmm. White dyed water bottle. Oh, that's right. Inspirations. Well, I don't have that. I'll have to actually stay up late one night because my, my mob drops chest is actually relatively light at the moment. Uh, but I feel I should plant up some of these new items that I just got. Uh, I think I've got two carrot spots open, some beets there. I don't need the seeds. I do need the pumpkin though. So I'm going to go plant these up and be right back. There we go, humble beginnings of a little farm at the moment. Uh, so let's just put the rest of these seed bits away. This is actually going to start getting really tight to work with in here. You stay there and guard this stuff, okay, pupper? Good boy. All right, so I've got my bucket of water for the future. Obviously a bone is going to be needed, uh, but I still feel that it was a well-placed choice to get ourselves a little friend here. Um, now, I can continue on with making chisels and such, which I'll probably do next time. Multi-tool mining, I've got uh, heading to the nether, all sorts of fun stuff, as well as upgrading my chests and storage, which I think I should probably start doing now that these things have uh, completed, and I've, I've got a decent amount of materials to start with. Uh, plenty more to grind up. I'm curious if I should actually start combining some of these. Oh, I didn't realize I had that much iron. Oh my gosh. All right, so I might throw in a few more things and see if I can dig up some some material. I might even throw in some osmium in here and get some mechanism stuff going. Um, let's put this... how much fuel? <laughs> There's no fuel. Absolutely no fuel. Well, we're gonna use up the last of the coal. I don't have much for torches either, but eh, it's a thing. Put all these in and hopefully everything works as intended. But anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, be sure to let me know in the comments below what kind of house, uh, or starter house even, you guys think I should go with here. I'm kind of thinking, like right behind me up on this little ledge, I might clear it out and um, uh, make uh, some kind of house. Uh, what, what kind of building material do you think I should try and work with? I mean, it doesn't have to be made like next episode or something, but I think that it would be nice to start, uh, you know, trying to get the materials for that. Um, I think stone is going to be a bit too plain. But uh, I am interested in at least like maybe different kinds of woods or if you are interested in some different metal designs or mixing the two, uh, perhaps some different uh, non-vanilla stone types could be mixed in as well. But hey, give me some ideas in the comments below. I'm really curious to hear what you guys have to say on that. I'm really enjoying this pack so far. It's, it's rather relaxing, very calm. There is a little bit of threat to it and some things that we can explore later on that will add a little bit of adventure to this. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's it's been good so far. So if you guys have been enjoying the video, be sure to give a like, comment, subscribe. And as always, don't forget that we are streaming on Twitch 
most days around 10 p.m. UK time. Until next time, folks, I'll see ya.